hello dear students welcome to indian advanced studies in this video we gonna see the description of tn set 2020 so tamil nadu set is examination is there so most of the students are not aware about the examination and most of the time they are not aware about the, about the dates and when application get released and when it when it goes so in this video i'm going to tell you when and how, how what is the eligibility criteria how the application will be started what will be the dates and application process as well as admission process eligibility exam pattern syllabus and result so in the watch this video till the end i'm requesting you to mix make, make sure that you are subscribing this channel because this channel is exclusive channel which shows information about tn set 2020 and all the other future examination of tamil nadu set examination tamil nadu set is termed as state eligibility trust which is for the assistant professor so make sure make sure that you are subscribing this channel for the future updates so we're gonna write i'm searching the way you have to perform the same search you have to write in google you have to open google browse google.com in any of your browser and search tn site 2020 and after that you have to write ias paper ias paper is the exclusive website where you're gonna get admission details about tn site 2020 and you're gonna do the search once you have done the search you will see something like this you will see tn set 2020 tamil nadu set notification iaspaper.net ias paper is a authentic website where you are going to get the details about tn set so just open this website iaspaper.net i'm gonna make it but zoom so that you can understand it well okay all right so here okay i have zoomed it now you can see the tamil nadu set tamil nadu set notification will be releasing soon as well as application form date eligibility pattern and syllabus all right so, so, so tamil nadu will soon release the notification the mother teresa women's university tamil nadu is responsible for taking admission into tamil nadu set that is tn set which was which was which should be conducted in which was supposed to be conducted in april 2020 but most of the time due to the situation which is happening all around the world that is covid 19 situation and the exam has been postponed and there is no update about the dates as soon as it will come we are gonna make a video about that so i'm requesting you to bookmark this page because this page is going to be updated as soon as it gets declares now the full name is you have to uh, fill this form it is very important because uh, i will tell you why you have to full, uh, do this so you have to write your complete name your email address your contact number your current state i'm from tamil nadu so you have i will be writing tamil nadu from wherever you are you have to write your own and uh, from where are you i'm from chennai so i'm gonna write chennai where you you would be from karur or uh, Karnakudi, Karnakal, wherever you are. So I'm gonna write Chennai because I'm from Chennai, and uh, the course and category I'm interested in. So I'm interested in see sets comes into arts and humanities. So I'm gonna write arts and humanities. What is your co highest qualification? My highest qualification is master's PG. So I will be writing this now. Get free counseling. Once you get gonna click on free counseling, you will get all the updates of of TN set 2020, like uh, em from email and SMS. Also, you will get. Uh, offers from various colleges and universities for teaching so make sure that, that you are doing this all right so uh, here the those who want to pursue junior research fellowship they have to apply and they have to fill the application form for Tamil Nadu set as soon as uh, Mother Teresa University will be declaring the set application we gonna make a video on that and once you will clear your set you will get a uh, post of assistant professor in various universities colleges private government and uh, added in the Tamil Nadu state you are not get in other states so you have to for the for other states you have to fill the UGC net so for that we have an exclusive video for that also now in this video we are going to take about uh, talk about eligibility criteria as well as the as well as the other procedures application form eligibility exam pattern syllabus all these things will be discussed since the dates or uh, have been postponed already so as soon as the dates will come it was supposed to come in february but it has not been yet declared now here you can check the important dates application registration and uh, admit card result you have to click here to check answer key okay, result counseling and okay and at syllabus so here uh, here is the list of the important uh, dates the dates has not been declared yet it was supposed to be uh, uh, come in december 2019 but yet not yet released so i'm requesting you to make sure that you're bookmarking this page and checking it regularly now i'm going to tell you about the hi highlights of this so the name of the examination is tn set that is tamil nadu state eligibility commentaries test 
uh, this is the PG level examination that is uh, certification level examination exam level state courses uh, that is the for which you are giving this for assistant professor conducting bodies mother Teresa women's university application mode is online uh, and exam mode is offline now the duration of the examination is one and two hours depend upon your on your paper and the official website is here and you can get the helpline here and this is the email id now we are going to talk about the application form application form is the most important part of the of the uh, tnc 2020 okay so the application form you have to fill the application form correctly and authentically application form must be filled online you there is no offline method once you have filled the application form you will be not able to correct it because you are requested to make sure that you are filling the application form correctly and uh, in the procedural way so he, he uh, when you are filling the application form you have to enter your personal details your communication details your your uh, educational details like your name your father's name your mother's name your your date of birth your school name from which board you have completed your 10th from which board you have completed your 12th from where you have done your graduation from where you have done your master degree from which university you have done from in which year you have done in from which uh, background you are so all those things you have to write once you have filled the application form instruction uh, instructions are given in the bulletin also so have, don't worry uh, i'll be gonna i'm gonna make a different uh, video for that and once you have filled the application form you have to also upload your income certificate community certificate if you are pwd candidate then you have to uh, submit a pw certificate also you are supposed to uh, upload your scanned documents so like your photograph and signature once you have uh, filled the application form you will get the application number as well as password on your mobile number as well as your email id also once you have um, fill the application form you have to take the printout of that and after that you have to pay the application fee for general candidates candidates who are from general category have to pay rupees 1500 as a uh, application fee those who are from reserve category have to pay 500 as an application fee the candidates who are from mbc dnc and bc candidates have to pay 1250 rupees price okay the fee can only be paid with the net banking debit card and credit card also uh, there is no option of offline payment and once the payment is done it is not refunded here you can check the fee structure so here it is given so general and obc criminal uh, 1200 uh, 1500 general obc non criminal 1250 scpwd uh, HI PH candidates have to pay 500 now we're gonna talk about the eligibility criteria student must have minimum 55% in their graduation in their qualifying examination that is the master degree or the graduation okay master degree those who are in the final year of graduation or can be considered as the examination okay so there is no age restriction in the TNC 2020 application form once you have if you are uh, applied in the master degree of second year and you have given the examination waiting for the result still you can apply for the uh, TNC 2020 entrance examination at the time of the mark sheet or uh, the time of the scorecard you have to uh, submit your uh, result qualification must have master degree or equivalent from any recognized university that is approved by UGC okay and uh, students who are qualifying the exam students must have subjects like those who have subjects like science humanities including languages social science computer science and application electronics and libraries library and information science uh, as per the subject after the candidates are eligible for filling the application form the student must have minimum 55 percent those who are from general category and who students who have who belongs to obc or uh, reserve category must have minimum 50 percent waiting candidates who in the final year of definitely i told you in the master degree can also apply there is no age limit now we're going to talk about the exam pattern exam pattern is the most important part of this exam pattern lies uh, the it gives you the idea that how you have to fill the application form and how you have to prepare yourself strategically mentally and uh, psychologically that how you have to pay uh, perform in the examination the mode of the examination is offline so you have to uh, write with a pen paper based test examination language will be Tamil and English only there will be no Hindi or any other language Qu uh, type question there will be multiple type questions duration of the examination will be one or two hour one and two hours for the paper two paper one will have one hour and paper two will have uh, two hours now diagram diagram of the marking point so two points will be assigned for each correct answer now there there will be three papers paper one paper two and paper three there will be after 100 marks for paper one 100 marks for paper two and 100 marks for paper three there will be total 50 out of 60 questions that must be attempted in paper one 
paper 2 all 50 questions are compulsory and paper 3 all 75 questions are compulsory here you can check the timing now we're going to talk about the syllabus syllabus is all dependent upon ugc csi or net examination students are requested to make sure that they can check the official website of the ugc as well as the notification of the pnz they will they're going to get the complete syllabus you can click here and check the complete syllabus okay let me tell you okay <coughs> you can click over here and you can check the complete syllabus all right so you can check there the complete syllabus pdf is also available i think all right so you can check here you can download the complete syllabus it is free of course so you are we, i'm requesting you to make sure that you are sub checking the complete syllabus here now we're going to talk about uh, subject code so common paper will be zero zero code commerce will have one computer science will have two Edu economics have zero three education have zero four electronics will be zero five Ele english is zero six Ge geography is zero seven Geography is 07, Hindi is uh, 08, History is 09, Home Science is 010, Journalism and Mass Communication is 11, uh, Law is 12, Sanskrit is 13, Tamil and Telugu 14, 15 respectively, Political Science is 16, Psychology is 17, Social Work is 18 and 19 is sociology now you can check the complete syllabus on the UGC website the same as UGC okay there is no difference so the capacity understanding divergent thinking general awareness argument will two will be based on the question topics will be selected by the students now we're going to talk about the preparation preparation is one of the most important part which will help you to secure the best marks now I'm going to tell you the how to prepare you can prepare it make short notes check the official syllabus and exam pattern during the preparation before the preparation it is very must to check the official syllabus as well as you have to make short notes and and uh, which will be help you to save the time during re revision now pre solving previous uh, question papers will help you for the preparation solve pre sample papers apply for the mock test and the other choices are to make proper timetable and revise it regularly now we're going to talk about the exam centers. Exam centers are located in Chennai, Coimbatore, Madurai, Tirchapalli, Salem, Tirunoveli, and there are various uh, places where you can check the uh, exam centers. There are the centers which are not listed here. To ma make sure once you have selected the center, you will, you will not able to change in any circumstances. Now we, uh, you must have admit card before appearing for the TNSET 2020 application uh, examination the admit card will be released online you have to admit card will be containing your photograph your signature your name your father's name your mother's name the date of birth as well as your uh, exam timing exam date exam venue all those things will be written over there exhibit admit card must be taken on the date of the examination along with your government id proof no one will be allowed to go enter in the exa examination hall without the admit card also admit card must be taken print out more than one or two and must check all the details are mentioned on the admit card is are correct now we will check about talk about the answer key answer code will be helping students uh, uh, to to know that whatever they have written is correct or not you can also challenge the answer key to the authority in next 15 days after the it will be released and also you can do that through online mode once you have to uh, if you have challenge the answer key you will get chance to edit it okay means the authority will release the final answer key and you will be getting those answer key answer key will help you to get the result and the numbers how much you are securing before declaration of the result now tn set result will be declared the result will be declared online students are requested to make sure that they are uh, checking all the details on the official website the result will be declared on the official website and students must check all the details uh, over there you have to enter your application number and roll number or data but uh, during the time of dialing the result result is one of the most important part which will help you the students to check that whether they are securing or not top six percent will be declared qualified uh, for the assistant professor so make sure that you are using your login id and profession uh, user id and password also you have to download that and take the print out of the result now the cutoff and counseling process is also given to so make sure that you are subscribing this channel and if uh, for if it, there is any doubt you are requested to comment over here okay so you can uh, check all those details and in the description you will get the link of this page so make sure that you are bookmarking this page and checking it regularly because as soon as it will be declared we're gonna give all those things to you so hopefully you have liked this video if you haven't subscribed to the channel please subscribe and like this video if you liked it